Hey, generally fine by the time it gets to a certain time I'll get a bit ooh, or I can't be arsed anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Especially if no one's on as well. Yeah. Um, you just get that. very bored very quick. Uh, yeah, Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was supposed to have work today. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, no, it was when we got up to go for work and that. It was just like, looked out the window, it was actually like a monsoon. Yeah. It was like, I was like, yeah, I, yeah. So Especially with what we had to do today. Yeah, I thought that Cooper. You up, mate? Yeah, you got a wheel? Yeah, it's got no force feedback, though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's one of the PlayStation wheels, we're saying, wasn't it? You were saying? Yeah, it's the Apex wheel. That's it, yeah. Uh, uh... Yeah, Uncle says we're coming over at some point. Like, you have a go at this wheel. Yeah, I will do, because I'm decisive. I'm undecisive which one to go for now. Why, what? Are you, you mean? Yeah, I, re I really want the um, the T300 RS. Um, don't uh, get it. Don't get it. Honestly, honestly, my mate had one of them. Yeah. Yeah. He, because obviously they're the ones that come with all like the brushless motors and that. Trust me, the delay on them is shocking. Uh, the don't get me wrong. No, no, the, the delay and everything on it is fine. That's you don't get that. But um, what it is is. The wheel, it's amazing for the first few months. And then it starts developing issues. It's like my mate, he, he, when he had his one, he had it for three months and it broke. He sent it back to Floyd oh. Thrustmaster. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Do, you know, do you know what happened? Go on. Because all of them were all fucking up. They were ended yeah. up being a, I think it was a year waiting this to get his new wheel. So really? he ended up just getting his money back, yeah, and just going back out and buying himself another G27. But I think he's just bought, he's just gone out and bought himself a G29 now. Well, they're on offer at the moment at Costco, the G29s. Uh, Mate, uh, you, you can't fault them. If, yeah, any, if yeah. anything, get that. Get that. A, a G29 and the G920. Yeah, well, well, they're they're exactly the same wheel. Yeah, yeah both but obviously. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the only difference. Both I think I'm thinking PC. more. I think I'm. I don't know. I don't know which one to go for. Well, whether. if you're thinking of spending the money on a, um, a Thrustmaster 350 XT or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah they're like what, four, four, four hundred quid, isn't they? Go and get a fanny. Three, four hundred quid. Honestly, yeah, I'd, if I if I was going to spend the money and actually get something decent, I would get myself like the Fanatec Fan like CSL. Elite, yeah, CSL, CSL Elite, yeah, definitely. and then buy um, and then probably buy the um, Fanatec uh, was it V2 pedals. pedals? V3 pedals with the clutch. Oh, oh, is it the V3 now? Yeah, yeah, V3. Ah, right, wow, well, well, yeah. Well, See, well, they've obviously only released that in the last couple of months, then. No, it's them new pedals. Rob was saying something about uh, the G G920 or the G92s. Uh, you can change the pedal cart, you the brake pedal, so it's more like a mod. Yeah, yeah. You can do that with more. Yeah, you can do that with more. You can do it with more. There's um, a mod that, that you can buy. That's... I posted a link to it in um, Discord. on Discord in the in the um, general. It's oh, called right. True Brake. True, True Brake. Brake. Yeah. True. It basically turns your brake pedal into a load cell. Yeah, yeah. Right. And obviously, load cell is like where it's really progressive, like obviously progressive pedal. Yeah. Like yeah. it would actually be in a car. It, obviously, when you touch it a little bit, it's nice and easy. And then as you push on the pedal, it gets harder. Oh yeah, so it gives you which ones. Yeah, go you on can do that with your normal normal pedals. Like I just did it. I did the mod with mine. You can buy a mod, 
but I, did, I didn't buy them, I'd, I'd just basically stuck an extra piece of rubber in. Right. Uh, you get, you know, like a pencil rubber. Different, you, know I mean? yeah. you just get a pencil, you just get a pencil, you know, like a pencil rubber, not the one off of an end of a pencil, but... Yeah, yeah. You cut a piece that's about 5mm wide and stick yeah. down, because when you pull the pedals apart, it's got a solid rubber block in there anyway, and you put that on top of it. Yeah. And obviously, that where that's the rubber is a softer rubber than the original bit, it like makes it a lot more realistic underfoot. Yeah, I'm with you. So that's but what I've done for mine. Does the um, does that mod uh, come with the um, you know the vibrations and stuff through the pedal? Did you get that? No. No, you have to do that. You basically get. Do you know, like what's in your controller? You've got two little motors. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> you get them little motors, and they attach to the back of the pedal. Right. It's a, that, that's a mod that you can do. <coughs> oh, the like that. Bass fingers, aren't they? What's that? The well, no, you can also as well. You get a subwoofer, and you can mount that under your seat and rig that up. So then, obviously, you get the rumble from that yeah, under your yeah, yeah. under your ass. Yep. That's, what they, that's what they refer to as a butt kicker. Yeah, yeah, right. Kicker, that's it. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I just, I don't want to rush into it, but I want to yeah, get it. Beat. A, I don't mind. There's loads of little mud, mud stuff that you can do to yeah. it nowadays that people have like, developed. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't mind spending the money on, on a wheel, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd go find This is what I'm saying, we're. Honestly. What I would honestly say is buy that. The G20, 920 or whatever, or 29, yeah, use that for as long as you possibly can, and then when that finally breaks, oh, and then you upgrade, because like mine, I've, I've had my G27 for five, six years, yeah. I'm on the far for you, never mind. and it's still going strong, yeah. right. nice. so they, they last, because like me, if, if when I finally do decide, like, I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to upgrade and I'm going to upgrade properly. I'm going to go to, like, direct drive wheel and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me, I'm money. But that, that, won't, that won't be for a while, because <laughs> obviously, to buy, like, a direct drive wheel setup, you're looking 1500 two grand. Yeah. That's yeah. just in, like, your wheels, your shifter, obviously your handbrake. And your pedals. There's a Fantec Club Sport uh, steering wheel uh, sale on eBay. Club Sports, there's a lot of mixed reviews about them. Is there? There you go. Yeah. There's a little fast time for you guys. What have you just set now? I think it's it, you little wolf. No, on it. Do you on the ultra softs then? Yeah, 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 yeah. All the way, bro. All the way. All the bloody way. I think it's better in his. Is it? I, I told him to enable DRS. Yeah, hundred percent. You pretty much use DRS all the way around this track. Not really. Yeah, it's curves and that, it don't let you use all the time. Or I just use my curves all the time and it just like uses it all and I don't give it a chance to build up again. No, uh, what it is, is, you know, when you change it from motor oh. to battery. Yeah, cool. That that does it because if you have it on battery, what it does is it like it charges itself a bit <laughs> instead of just put straight power seven. straight to the motor. You know what I mean? Oh, 
Jovi, 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 Jovi. My biggest problem with this track, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Yesterday was the first time I'd ever driven this track. I could say the same, bro. Mm -hmm. So have you tweaked your aero up? What's that? Have you tweaked your aero up? Nope. I haven't touched nothing apart from the tires. <coughs> um, um... Oh, you're yeah. nearly on the fucking... 145, mate. Yeah, it's like I say, I haven't really driven them that much. Never really got into the Formula One cars. I'd say I'm quicker than I'm going to have them. I'll run par. Probably be a lot more different if it was a full motion rig. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I thought that at Monaco, I thought, oh god, that's a fast time. Um, and then I had a look at actually what the fastest lap in the F1 cars is. Yeah, and I was like, second profit. Yeah, it's what? So it's one, 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 four, one uh, No, 1.14, so four seconds off it. 1.14, six, oh. the fastest time at Monaco. Yeah, yeah but don't forget, they're on direct wheel. We'll no, this is in real life, I think he's on about. Yeah, that's real life. Right. Uh, you know what, I, I should think, do it off. I think here, it, the fastest is um, 144, I think. 144? Yeah. So, Not far off a of bit. Mm -hmm. Was that in this year, Formula One cars? Uh, no, it's a couple of years ago. So that would have been the V10. Oh no! The out and out, the out and out monsters. Yep. See if I can make it back. Run out of fuel. See, so, like the ones when they started bringing in all the restrictions because they were too quick. <laughs> yeah. Run out of fuel. I'm not being funny. Back then, they were fucking actually proper to play, no? Because they had traction control and everything, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, now nah, the original Formula One cars. Now they were the drivers. Yeah. Now them, they could yeah. drive. Mansell and Senna. No, no, no. I'm not on about them Formula One cars. I'm, I'm on about like all oh, the, the 1940s, like 50s sort of thing. Yeah. And yeah. the Formula One first started oh. coming around. When they come no, up them when, cars. when they finish the race and they've got a black face. <laughs> yeah, mate. We've like the old um, matchstick tyres and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That is Not a lot today. I will be in a sec. Uh, is anyone out of track? No, I'm in pit track. No, it's not where you couldn't pass. Mm, Oh, you fucking cunt. He's recording, mate. Ah, that's right. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Nah, that's right, don't worry. Don't worry about it, too. Because everybody's it's worse. Ever oh. now and again. <laughs> I'm not being funny. Swearing nowadays is like... The Bible. Well, no, it's... Like, it's like everyday language. Yeah, it is. It's only like posh, pompous assholes that yeah. don't really swear. But then even them, they swear. 
<laughs> everyone sweats, man. Yeah, everyone been on the side sweating. She don't sweat. Uh, it's funny when you hear someone like that that don't normally swear, swear, and it's like, what? <laughs> I'm just here, that's right. Oh. Uh, have you got that um, SRP track? Snoop. The what? SRP. To do call. That. That's, um, a that's a good track. I don't like know. The, the um, Japanese highway. Yeah, Japanese eyewears. Way. Oh. That's smart as fuck. Yeah, it is. Especially with the new cars on it, anyway. Oh, <laughs> Tell you what, that delta helps a lot. Hey? That Delta. Farmer's Delta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be happy if I get a 145. Yeah, I know I'm not getting anywhere near that. I do, I'm very lucky. Do they actually do this on the actual F1? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, all the tracks that we're using now are actually the F1 Canada. Yeah, man. You need to wait for this race and actually see what the times are. They'll be a lot faster because obviously they're in different cars, aren't they? I've got 2020 cars. Oh, these are the 2021 cars, aren't they? I can get the 2021 cars. Oh, can you? Yeah, yeah. Cost three quid. 30 quid? Three quid. Three. Oh, three quid. Yeah, yeah. So how much it cost me for the 2020 car. And it, it's exactly the same as this, but with Angel on it. Yeah. Crazy. Been on islands with it. You get it off yeah, website. Yeah, I've got it. You've got it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah got it. Oh, really? Straight away, I forget about the first uh, one. Shut up with my fucking pedal, man. It's pissing me off. It's probably what happened to mine, mate. No, when I break, it's putting me... It's, it's not breaking, it's like it's dumping my clutch. Ah, yeah. You need to take my... You, you check your wires. Yeah, that's what it is. Ugh, oh, shit. Oh, I turned the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky. I love that economy, the way it slides around. 
<laughs> yeah, that the one, that's the one that's got the um, curbs and that on the inside, isn't it? I'm not too sure. At the end of the like that's first it. like long straight bit. Two hundred and seven mile an hour. I'll tell oh. you what I top out now. Two hundred and eleven. Oh, and again I've got them. Just warming up. Warming my tyres up. Time. I hate that corner. You just moved then as I were about to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Try the other first. Not hard enough on my break.
Oh wow, that well affects your downforce. What's that? Following somebody. Five on the Delta and make a crash. Do you know what the annoying thing is? What's up? Um, half the track, I'm on par with you. Yeah. There's only three sectors out of like half the track, or just over half the track that I'm slower. All the rest are green. What sectors are them? Huh? What sectors is that? Well, first three sectors, exactly the same. The uh, fourth sector I'm slower. The next four sectors on the same. Um, and then two sectors are. I don't know about that. It's two sectors or one. Where'd you get that from? Do you know on the Delta time? On the Delta? Where's that? Yeah. Uh, the performance the Delta. Do you like bring the menu up on the side? On the right hand side. Oh, right, okay. If you click on one that says performance delta. It's uh, tells you on that. It tells you what your estimated lap is and everything like that. But then it says my ex estimated lap was the 156. Where's the performance? I can't find the performance delta. Uh, go to all apps at the top. And then scroll down. Got leaderboard maps. Oh the hell! No. Onboard settings. No. Yeah, no. So it looks like a rev counter. <coughs> performance yeah, that, delta. Yeah, that performance delta that I've just got. Um... How do you when get you the click on it. When you click on it, it comes up with a box. It's got a, like two like boxes, and then delta, and then estimated, and then you've got like a bar at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start going out on track, that bar at the bottom, a little it's, set of yeah, each of the individual sectors of the track, and yeah, it tells yeah. you if you're if it's per if it's purple or pink or whatever, you're faster. If it's green, oh, right it's the same. Bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and obviously if it's like grey, you're slower. Yeah. But it gives you your estimated time and stuff like that. And it tells you where you're slightly slower and where you could where you like when you're going a slightly bit quicker through a section and stuff like that. Yeah. Because where it says a delta, if you're ahead of time it'll be green, if you're below like if you're slower it'll be red. Yeah. It's handy, but then also it can like it can like mess you up a bit. Yeah, I can understand that. Because that's something you want to look into as well, is getting that real head motion. Yeah, yeah. I agree How with that. How do you do that? Huh? How do you do that? Um, I'll give it to you. <laughs> you know what, you know what we need to do? We need to write some modules we put them on. Website, make a folder on the website. Yeah. 
Chris had called some more too on me. Ooh. So how does that real head motion work? Basically when you turn your steering, it like basically turns your head. <laughs> right. Yeah. So when you when you turn you can actually like turn it like the screen turns. Right. right. Snoop. So Get yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, act as my driver. Get yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Right, it turns when you turn. It's like VR, but not. Yeah. But put it this way, everyone that I've like given it to, it's made them faster. A lot faster. Because you can actually, when, do you know when you turn in through a corner, you can actually look through the corner. Like in ahead of the corner before you actually like exit the corner, so you can see your exit point before you actually get it. Like, do you know what I mean? I hate that corner. Ah. That skinny corner, I think, is probably one of the worst corners in this track. That narrow one. This corner at the bottom here catches me all the time. I don't go that fucking fast. To be honest, you're on the straight. I don't get. I don't even get oh, into uh, six. Nah. Uh -huh. You should do. It's like my DR. Well, it's like the curves on the DRS doesn't activate until literally right at the end of the straight. Mm. But yeah, obviously, mine done. By the time I'm hitting, obviously, the point of where the activation point is, I'm doing probably 160, 170. Then obviously, once you hit it, it doesn't really take off like it should be. You know what I mean? Yeah, it only bumps you up a little bit, not much. Yeah, but no, like I'd expect it to. Well, I'm not being funny, by the time I'm hitting the end of the straight, I'm doing 172. Fuck's sake. So, I think there's something wrong there, don't you? <laughs> no. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I've left it standard. I think the only thing I've done is, like, just tweaked up the dampers a bit. And changed the tyres. I think I raised it a little bit. Ah, 
Alright, you passed it. Alright, it's too much speed. Oh, you're carrying a bit too much speed, don't you? Yeah, a bit too much. I hate this corner so much. I've got to turn that head motion on, mate. Oh, yeah, two seconds. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you now. <laughs> yeah, trust me, it's something else I had motion, man, I'm telling you.